ignorance. Seems like this has been taking over the world lately. And I'm not just talking about in the heterosexual communities, and I'm not just talking about all the other communities in the world. Ignorance towards the LGBT community has taken a huge spin, and it's really hit us. And I'm not just hating on the heteros, and I'm not, you know, hating on anyone per se. But it seems like there's even more ignorance when it comes to our community. That's right, all you people in the LGBT community who only worry about your sexuality, there are other people and there's more than just you. I've noticed for a long time now that there are a lot of people in our community who have just thought that it's only their sexuality and I really haven't taken the time to understand other people's. So that's what I'm here for, so put on your learning caps because we're about to turn this little video into an educational lesson. So I'm going to teach you today a few different sexualities. I'm not going to cover them all, so for those of you that I forgot, I'm very sorry. And I'm going to go through this fast. Lesbians. You all know what lesbians are. Women who like women. That's it. Gays. Men who like men, which can also be used for term as women who like women. It doesn't really matter. Bisexual meaning someone who likes both genders, and by both genders I mean um, male and female, not just all of the genders, because there is more than one type of gender that's classified as a gender. Trans, and the reason I don't say transgender is I put trans with a little asterisk is because there's more types of trans than just the transgenders. Transgenders are biologically one gender, but they truly believe and they know in their hearts that they were supposed to be the opposite gender, and that's beautiful. There's more than that. There's transsexual, there's um, non-gender binary, there is androgynous, which means that, from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, but androgynous is where you sort of dress more feminine or more masculine depending on which side of the spectrum you're on, and that's different than transvestite, which is somebody who basically dresses in drag as the opposite gender. Now, take a rest for a second, because we're going to go a little bit further than you thought. Now what you're thinking. No. We're going to talk about queer, questioning, asexual, ally, intersex, pansexual. And we can't really talk about the others because I don't really have time to, I'm sorry. So queer means that you basically aren't sure which gender you like. You, like one day you could feel like you like one gender, the next day you could feel like you like another gender, one day you could feel like you like neither, one day you could feel you like both. And it all depends on the person and their feelings and it can get pretty frustrating. Questioning means that you definitely know that you like one gender, but you're curious about the other one, which is also which is synonymous with bi curious. Asexual, and I'm not talking about the reproductive system in the animal kingdom. The asexual and sexuality basically means different things, which is why these sexualities sort of get more complicated and are often pushed to the side because we don't really understand them. Asexual is when you sometimes don't like sex in any gender. Sometimes it means that you don't like the romance in either gender. It all depends on who the person is and how they feel, but either way, asexuals look for nothing sometimes. Look for nothing in some way by both genders. Intersex. Intersex is not a sexuality, it is a gender identity, and intersex is basically a male or female who has parts of the opposite gender. And by parts I mean maybe there's a female with male genitalia, or maybe there's a male with female genitalia. And they also have their original biological genitalia, which could be confusing to some people as well. It's often pushed off to the side and just not thought about. And people call them a hermaphrodite too. That's more of a derogatory term 
to the person. Pansexual means that you like all genders. You focus on the love, not the person. And that's different than bisexual, because bisexual limits it to um, they like male and they like female, whereas pansexual means they like male, female, transgender, which some bisexuals can be open to dating a transgender. But they're also into intersex people and anybody, basically, but that's not saying that they like everybody. So I hope you took something away from this video, and I hope you go and scurry off and tell your friends about this video so they can be educated as well. I am Francesca, I'm also an educated baby gay, and I will see you guys another day. Bye!